How's it going there, folks? This is Quinn, that snazzy iPhone guy, and this is Mac Madness Monday. Today, I'm going to show you how to encrypt a USB key or an SD card or a hard drive or really any drive that's mountable. I'm going to show you two methods. One method is new in Mac OS X Lion, and it's amazing. However, there are some limitations. You do need Mac OS X Lion, first of all. So if you're not running the latest version of Mac OS X, this uh, this method will not work for you and you'll have to use the second method, which again, I will show you later in the video. And secondly, it will not be readable by Windows. So if you want to encrypt your data, but also be able to put it on Mac or PC, read, write, you will want to do it the second way. However, I will show you both. And what you're going to need to do very first is launch Disk Utility. Now you can do so by searching Disk Utility in Spotlight as I am going to do, or you can find it under the Applications folder uh, under the Utilities section. Now, once we open Disk Utility, we will find all of the drives that are mounted on our computer. You may not have any, you may only have one or two or you know something of the like I have quite a few however what you need to do is select the drive that you want to mount so untitled is my USB key that I would like to mount now as you can see right now it is fat 32 formatted so what we're going to need to do first is click the erase tab and make sure you have the very utmost root of the drive you don't want to select this one select the very top okay now you're going to go to erase and I am going to erase to a plain Mac OS 10 extended journal. Okay. I'm going to press erase and it will erase. Now this is the method that is only available in Lion, and you will have to make sure that you note this. Okay. Now we're encrypting or we're not encrypting. We're uh, formatting the root to OS 10 extended journal because this first hierarchy or the drive that we're actually going to encrypt this uh, single and only partition right here is the one we'd like to encrypt. So we are now going to select untitled or whatever you named it, this first level. Not the very, very most root, but the first level under. If you do not select this, this will not work and you will get an error. So you do need to make sure that you do this lower drive right here. If you have multiple partitions, select the partition that you want to be formatted. So what you're gonna do is under the format tab, you are going to go to Mac OS 10 extended case sensitive journal encrypted. Now keep in mind, this is only available online. We can now choose the name of our encryption if we want. I'm gonna leave it entitled. And now we can go to erase. Okay, now when we click erase, it's going to say, are you sure you wanna create an encrypted partition? We're gonna say yes. And it now asks you for your password to unlock that encrypted partition. Now we are going to say uh, our password is the very very weak password. Okay. Now you can also add a hint. So the password is password. I'm putting a dash in there because if you have your password in the hint field, it'll get mad at you. So anywho, our password is password. I recommend you change something different. Really, there's no reason to encrypt it at all. Make sure when you're creating a secure password, you want to put in dashes and numbers and symbols and capital letters and lowercase letters and number, you know, just put pretty much every character. Mine is just a generic 18 digit string that has nothing to do with my life. It's just a bunch of random crap that I've remembered. And that's probably the most secure way. Now, as you can see, this is mounted onto our computer. I'm going to eject it just so I can remount it. And you can see that it is indeed encrypted. And when we mount this, it'll say enter a password to unlock the disk untitled. Okay. Now, if I type a password that's not correct, it refuses to unlock. Now, as I remember, my password is password. And when I press unlock, it will mount into my drive and I can drag pictures or files or any sensitive document that I need encrypted. When I eject this, all my files will be kept safe and I can plug it back into this computer or really any computer. And again, it will ask for your password or else it'll refuse to let you see any of the files like the picture we just dragged on uh, until you enter the correct password. Okay, so once we've done that, it remounts and here we are with the disk.png. Okay, so that's the first way. Again, keep in mind that way it requires you to have Mac OS X Lion and you will be unable to mount the drive. Actually, the drive won't even appear unless you are running Macintosh OS X. So if you want to make your drive go back and forth between the windows, which I recommend you will want to choose this second method. Okay, now keep in mind, uh, this is currently under a Mac OS X journal partition. Again, you can keep this, but since we want it to work with Windows, you're going to want to choose MS-DOS FAT. Uh, or FAT32, which is what FAT is, okay? So again, keep in mind, look over here on the left, we do need the very, very utmost root. Not this one, but the root, okay? Now we're gonna press erase. No, no, we're not, because we didn't 
fat 32. Okay, now we're going to press erase and press erase one more time. It's going to erase everything on the disk. It's going to unencrypt uh, the unentitled disk and erase everything of that sort and that nature. So you don't need to worry. And now what you need to do is once this is mounted, which it will be, give it a second. Both of these are both FAT32 because we formatted the root and not this partition. Now, we need to click on this upmost root again. Keep in mind that one is there. And we are going to go to partition, this little tab right here. Now, select your only partition. If you have multiple partitions, that's fine. But we only have one. And that is this one partition, the singular partition. Okay. Now, what we're going to do now, after we've selected this, this blue box will appear around it, is go to File, New, and Blank Disk Image. Okay. Now, we are going to entitle the disk image. So, we're going to call this Encrypted Data. Okay, now it's going to ask you where you'd like to put it. We're going to put it in the, of course, the untitled drive, which is the drive we have right here. Okay, now you need to name the disk image. Again, I'm just going to call it encrypted data. Oh, shoot, I started encrypting it. Fool! I'm sorry. I'm a failure. Okay, we're going to try that one more time. <laughs> that was a colossal failure. All right, encrypt data. Again, make sure it's on the drive that you want to be encrypted. Now you're going to select the name. Okay. Now this is where it gets a little bit tricky. You now need to choose the predestined size. So I could say 100 megabytes and I can only put 100 megabytes in this encrypted data, uh, this image, or else it'll overfill. It won't allow me to put any more than 100 megabytes in here, which is a little bit of a shame. Now, of course, I can make a custom size since this is an 8.1 gigabyte disk. I can say make a 7.7. .7 it's going to be gigabytes, so 7.7 .7 gigabyte partition, okay? And then it'll make the disk image 7.7 .7 gigabytes. Now, the problem with this is, again, is you're restricted to 7.7 .7 gigabytes. You're fine up until you hit that window, but then you're in trouble. And the other reason is if you don't want encrypted data on your flash drive, you just want to throw stuff in there like text files or music or unimportant stuff that doesn't need encryption, it will not be able to surpass the remaining amount of space left on the disk. So 0.4 gigabytes is what I have for everything else. Now, you can choose the image format down here and choose sparse disk image. Now, sparse disk images are really awesome, and I've started to use them quite a bit lately because they will only account for as much space as they require. So I could, for example, create a sparse disk image. It will be 0, 0.0 megabytes. Now, when I throw a 50 megabyte file in, that disk image will change to 50 megabytes it changes back and forth and fluctuates according to the data that's kept inside of it. However, I have noticed that in a lot of older Windows PCs, it's not readable. And so what I like to choose just for security's sake is the read-write disk image. But keep in mind, you will need to ex uh, choose exactly um, what size you want, and that will be set permanently. Now, just for the sake of this video, I am going to go to 40 megabytes just because it's a lot faster. And now you need to choose your format. It actually won't be encrypted data. It'll be called as it will be, of course, ms.fat. Okay, so once I choose that, this will allow it to work with Windows. If you choose one of these, this is gonna be completely useless and it will only be readable on Macs. So you are gonna choose ms.fat encryption. Obviously, this is the important part. You can choose 128-bit AES or 256-bit. Uh, or Obviously, the latter is more secure, but it's also a lot slower to mount. And 128 is perfectly secure unless you're like, housing information to the Pentagon. So this should be just fine. And now you're going to go to partitions map. Um, since mine is so small, it says nada, nine, none. Uh, what you should select is single partition, master boot record partition map. Okay. So once you've selected all of this, you're going to press enc uh, encrypt, rather create, and you will need to enter your password for this drive. So we're going to call it password. Okay. Now it will create the drive. Just give it a bit of a second and I'm going to eject both of these for the sake of ejecting them and remounting them so you can see the whole process. Now when we remount it, the untitled drive will show up right here. Okay, I select untitled and you can see inside there's a little file that says encryptdata.dmg. Okay, now as you can see there are 8.05 gigabytes available. Since this was only 40 megabytes or you know 0.05 gigabytes, um, that's actually not accurate. It would be 0.04, but that's not the point. The point is, this is restricted to 50 megabytes. Now, 
Uh, I forgot to uncheck remember in keychain, so this will automatically mount every time. But if you mount it into a computer that isn't um, encrypted correctly or you don't have the password to, then it will require you to enter the password before it mounts. Uh, the good thing about this also is you can create different encrypted partitions, which is really cool. So if you have like encrypted music you want that are less secure, you can do 128 bit or encrypted files, you can do 256. Um, so it really just allows for a lot more fluctuation when you do it this way rather than the new way in line. However, it is completely up to you. If you're only going to be using it on your Mac, there's no way to do it this way really. Um, and you can go with the original way to do it. So this is Quinn, that snazzy iPhone guy. That was my little uh, utility on how to create an encrypted disk image. Hopefully it was of use to you and you can keep your files safe. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe, rate, comment, and as always, stay snazzy. See you later, folks.